Hi! I'm the Ninny the Mom, and welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you are here. Um, if you're new to the channel, I would love it if you subscribed and click the little bell so you can find out notifications as I upload new videos every Monday and Friday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. Oh boy! Today's anime that this mom is going to review is Fruit Baskets. Okay, let me start by saying the first time I had heard about this anime was when we were doing flute anime and the boys received a t-shirt. And I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, and I knew that I wanted to check it out. It was on my radar of something checking out. And then it came across on Hulu. So I decided that I would go ahead and watch it. And I was excited because it was dubbed. Not that I do not like subs, I do, but dubbed is sometimes something easier for me to watch because I can hear it as well. So I'm gonna be talking about Fruit Baskets from Hulu and it is the new version that came out this year. Although Hulu does have the original. There you go. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, so if you wanna watch, which I have to tell you, um, I may have done that. But I'm only gonna talk about the new one, okay? So Fruit Baskets, what an interesting name. I thought originally it was going to be about food. No, 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 no. This one is an anime that is touching on so many levels. It's about perseverance. It's about so many interesting things. So let's get down to it. What is the premise of this anime? So Toro Honda, this young girl, who we find out is an orphan. Her mother has died in a car crash and she was sent to live with her grandfather, but they are doing renovations on the house. So he asked her to move out and live with her friends or someone who could take her in. Well, Ms. Honda is just one of those go get it, positive attitude kind of people who doesn't let anything get them down. So she's decided she doesn't want to be an imposition to anybody. So she's going to go live in a tent. That's right. You heard me. I said live in a tent. Frodo's here. Sorry. Um, so you have this young girl, high school age, living on her own and holds conversations with her mother and yet is still just positive. She has this spirit of everything in the world, as horrible as the world can be, still manages to see the bright side of everything. So we have that. Well, we enter and we see her and she's getting ready to go to school. On her way, she stumbles across this home, the Soma residence, and she meets Shigura. Oh, I guess I should say, I might say names wrong. Even though this one was dubbed, I still pronounce names badly. Sorry. Okay, so where are we at? So she runs into him at his house and she sees these rocks, which represent the Chinese zodiac. Oh, thus begins a conversation. And we find out that her mother used to tell her stories about the cat who was tricked by the rat. So if you don't know your um, Chinese zodiac signs, this is a great way of finding them out, finding out a little bit more about them. So that's pretty cool. So as we're there, we find out that not only does Shigura live there, but Yuki does too. And Yuki happens to be the prince of the high school that she goes to. The one that everybody is in love with is just like the greatest guy ever. So you're like, aha, right? Yeah, okay. So we have this aha moment and she says that she just moved in around there and they're like, hmm, this is interesting because they know that there's no neighbors because they own all the land. The Soma family does. So we have this happening and School's in session, 
we meet her friends, we find out more about Yuki and the love affair that the school has with this amazing person. So that is happening and then we find out that Yuki and Shigura find for Sora and her tent living on their property by the way. Mm -hmm. Um, and they ask her to spend the night because as they're there, there's just this horrible thing that happens and the horrible thing is her tent gets destroyed so now she has no place to live and they ask her to go ahead and spend the night with her. Not, it's not any, anything bad. How's that? It's not perverse. It's not anything. It's just people helping people. Uh, so we have them there and all of a sudden we are introduced to Kayo and something amazing happens. Yeah. That zodiac sign thing. We find out there is a reference to it. So evidently, da -da 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 -da, if a member of the Soma family is hugged by a person of the opposite sex, they turn into that zodiac sign that they are. So there is the curse. The Soma family has been cursed by the signs of the zodiac. And it just so happens to be, da -da -da, Kayu is the zodiac sign, well, the ancient zodiac of the cat. The, the one thing that, that Toro was in love with and always wanted to be. She wanted to be the year of the cat. Of course, there is no year of the cat. And we understand how this happens through the story. So that part is very lighthearted and they have asked her to move in and she promises to keep their secret and bonds are made. And it really is a beautiful anime the way of finding out that this is a curse and her heart through everything that she has been with, been through, the loss, the, the heartache, that none of it weighs her down and she still just wants to help other people. She wants to help the Soma family. If this is a curse, then how and what can she do to help them? How can she make them stronger as a family? Because after all, her family's pretty much gone. I'm just gonna say, grandfather did throw her out. Mm -hmm. just, mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I know it's just during renovations, but still. But the title of the movie is explained to us, and maybe this will give you a good insight to what this young girl endured. So Fruit Baskets is a game. It's a game that children play, and they played in elementary school where someone has a fruit basket, but everybody goes around and gets a fruit name. So you have somebody who's going to be an orange, somebody who's going to be a banana, you get it. But when it comes to Torah's assigned name, they name her a rice ball or gone or, or ging. A rice ball, let's just call it that. And you know what? Nobody wants a rice ball in their fruit basket. So the game is played and her name is never called. That pretty much explains the life that she led. The only thing that she had as strength was her mother. She held her own job. I mean, just, it was, it's amazing. And it is heartfelt and you really get to know the characters and you find that there is just so much that she brings to everybody. Eventually, she will get to be with the Soma family and they realize how much they need her and she needs them. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous anime. It is emotional and yet uplifting. I think it's a really good family anime. I mean, yes, I understand that her mother does die and yes, there are some really dark things, and there's some fighting, because Yuki, he happens to be the rat. And as we hear the story, the story of this banquet, the banquet, the Zodiac banquet, that the rat tricks the cat, so he misses it. 
so that's why he wasn't part of the 12 of the zodiac so there's this animosity between the rat and the cat or yuki and kayu and it's just done beautifully as we introduce to more of the soma family and get to see their zodiac who they are um, you see things that are representative of that zodiac sign or at least what you attribute to that animal it's really lovely and i think you'll enjoy it so again you can watch the original on hulu subbed and dubbed and you can watch the new version on hulu dubbed just season one um i think you're gonna enjoy it i know i did i did i really there's a lot of twists and turns and heartache and you understand why this is a curse it's more than just that they are part of this family this soma family that is very protective of course because they all share something but it is its own entity of its own i'm repeating words but i think you'll enjoy it i know i did i really did and i didn't i didn't know what to expect and i think you will really enjoy it now, i'm not going to tell you what happens because I don't do spoilers. But the stuff that I talked about, that's the first episode. They give you enough backstory. But it's really cool as you learn more and more about the characters and how they will intermingle and grow and just, it's really lovely. So I hope you check it out. Again, you can find it on Hulu. I hope to see you the next time. I'll see ya Mondays, Fridays, or whenever you wanna come by. Click that bell again. Because if you subscribe, you'll know when I go on. Because I swear, one of these days, when I have some time and the boys aren't around, I think I'm going to go live. Be there. All right. Have a fantabulous day. Kick your thanks. Bye.